Okay, draw that up and last a little bit. Okay, we've got our hyaluronic acid. Here it's going to go in with it. And then we're going to finish with the vitamins at the end. So out of two tubes, how many cc's did you get? Just about three. Kind of looks like raspberry Kool-Aid. Okay. All right, so this takes a couple of extra hands. We're getting ready, so I've got my RPRF, my gun, I've got my assistant with the gauze, and as I apply this, I'm gonna microneedle it in. So I'm just keeping the area moist. This will tighten that skin up, get the cells growing faster, rebuild some collagen. Okay. And you can see how the area has been reddened from going over this. I'm going to adjust my setting as I get into some of the thinner tissue. I'm going to go down from two down to one and a half. She's probably going to feel a little more comfortable when I do that. So I like the two millimeter because it gets me into that just with the dermal layer. Switch hands for this side. Feeling pretty good? Fine. Okay. I can always shorten it up a little bit if it starts to be a little bit sensitive. And chin's going to be a little thicker. So I like to just apply it as I go. So there's not too much of a mess. And we've just done kind of the lower face, just up under the base of the nose. And the collagen growth is pretty dramatic over about two weeks. So during that two weeks when we have a lot of cell growth, we of course want her to avoid things that would damage those cells like extra sun, mm -hmm. you know, excessive tanning, smoking, anything like that. Stress, of course, that'll always make you slow down your growth. <laughs> so, so, I'm just going around. So, what we're going to do is, after I've got all this put in there, we're going to use some hyaluronic acid. Basically, that makes it the vampire facelift at that point. There's always a little bit of combination with filler and that's what's in hyaluronic acid. I use uh, different amounts of lidocaine but they're all fillers. So we're going to use that in combination with this. And just continue to go around, work it in. So I'm getting pretty close to your mm -hmm. eyes. I'm trying not to. Yeah. And the redder, really, the better. <clears throat> in that, uh, you know, when I say red, I'm talking about the fluid coming out. It means that there's much more cells in it. So you want to spin it the least amount you need to get some separation. You almost get a little bit more of an APRF instead of an RPRF, which means you have fewer active uh, growth factors in there, a little bit more fiber. But uh, when you draw it off, you're actually losing some of those active cells that you want down in the corpuscles when you run it for longer. 
Okay, so I'm out of my foot. I'm going to set that down and I'm going to grab my hyaluronic acid now. And this one I'm going to set it at about a millimeter, taking that down a little bit. And I'm going to just, it's a nice little gel, it's really nice the consistency of this gel that comes with Thermapen. It really just moves well. You can hear that. The other thing that's really nice, you hear that sound, that catching action of it. This is the only pen that if the material gets sucked up inside it, it doesn't actually damage the pen. And the head's completely replaceable, so you can use this and not worry about uh, any of the material getting up into the machine and making it so you couldn't use it on another patient in the future. So that was about five squirts, and I'm just going to keep going back and forth and working that in. Is that pretty comfortable? It's fine. Okay. And you just make sure you use overlapping patterns. You can always push a little bit and get a little bit more penetration. So even though I'm at one millimeter now, I can apply a little pressure and get that two millimeters. So whenever I'm going a little deeper, I'm trying to make sure that I move quickly and really not put any additional pressure on. Alright, so I'm kind of moving that hyaluronic acid up. And then when I'm all done, and I have all this worked in, we're going to let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then any excess that hasn't dried into the tissue at that point, we're going to wipe off. And we're going to use the vitamin product that also comes from Dermapen. And we're going to apply that and then put on the hydrating mask. What I like about the hydrating mask is that it has uh, basically an isotonic saline in it. So it's uh, very nice. It doesn't change the pH of the tissue like a lot of things can. And uh, it just gives the moisture back that we've been taking out by drying off the tissue and applying topical beforehand. So it gets it kind of recharged and ready to start growing cells quickly. So just continuing to go there. I always like that little sound. It means I have just the right amount on there. So here is your vampire facelift. Hyaluronic acid, dermal filler, along with blood derivative products. So this is just a little bit more of an advanced version because the other version that's been done for a long time is done with PRP, so it had far fewer cells that were active, so we're going to get a lot better result than the uh, older style vampire facelift that uh, Kim Kardashian was known for. The other thing in the uh, Kim Kardashian one is that they really uh, didn't separate out the blood very well, so they applied it. As you can tell, uh, if you separate it in regular PRP vampire facelifts, it would be yellow. This has quite a bit of a almost like a watermelony color to it. Mm -hmm. I always think sometimes like a raspberry Kool-Aid. And you can see I've kind of worked all that in now really well in all those areas. So I'm going to turn off my derma pen and I'm just going to rub it and compress it. I know I've opened up all the pores, now I'm trying to make sure I get it in there. Doing okay with that? Mm -hmm. So you can see at the end, it's very shiny. The skin just looks kind of like it's glowing at this point. Alright. So we're going to let that sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back and apply the facial mask with the uh, vitamins. Thank you. All right, I'm back. So let's look here at the tissue. So what I really want you to see is right here. You see how it's, I'm not sure if you can see in the light, but it's really tightened up. Just in those few minutes I let it sit. So you can really tell 
that that's happened literally just since we did it. So it's already contracting. If you look over here, you can start to see some lines showing up where the skin is tightening vertically there. There's a really nice view of them. So now I'm going to go back and we're going to get the vitamins in. So I'm going to place those in. It has a really nice smell to it too. We're going to apply the hydrating mask to her whole face, even though we only did the lower face. We're going to have a really nice variation between the lower face and the upper face, starting from basically the uh, cheeks on up. So now I'm going to get the hydrating mask. So it's got a blue layer and then the clear layer. And basically you've got your hydration side. So we're going to peel this off. I want one of those. Okay, and I'll be later. careful how I get this in here. You have plenty of time, it's just a matter of getting it just where you want it. There's our nose spot. Move it up a little bit. So it comes in a few sections so you can kind of overlap it for different size faces. Now you heard one of my staff members come in there and she obviously likes what she sees, so she got a little overzealous, but uh, she's going to have to continue to work while we're doing this. Maybe later today she'll get lucky, but for now, this is what we're going to do. So there's our hydrating mask right there. So, and then this just gets thrown away. So we're going to let her just sit there, you know, at least 20 minutes and enjoy the moisturizing as it goes in. Thank you.